Today is December the 26th. Um, I'm using the selfie stick and the iPhone to do parts of this video and other parts of it will be by the camera. It's nice to have multiple uh, cameras. So, I uh, hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. Uh, today we're going to be working on the chest that I talked about in another video. Uh, I've decided to start it and I'm using the kiln dried pine and so I'm preparing my panels. The panels are already glued. I didn't uh, get to get any footage of gluing them but they're already glued up and so that's what I'm doing. Uh, I've got the two side panels glued up and the front and back panel and I'll probably use some kind of plywood for the bottom and uh, of course the kiln dried pine for the top for the lid so I'll show you the panels and then we'll get to uh, sizing them squaring them up and getting them ready to use all right you can see on the joiner there there are two panels leaned up that are a lot longer than they need to be. Um, the total length of it will be 36 inches, but I I go a little bit longer. Uh, there are some problems, like right there on the end of the board. I guess from where the board air dried there and water got to it and whatnot. Uh, this was one of the unfortunate stacks that didn't get covered. So for now, when I cover, try to cover all my stuff with tin, uh, especially red oak. And I've got one up here laid out on the table saw that uh, I've been using this jig that I made. And I'll show you it in a minute. But uh, just basically a straight line jig for the rigid skill saw. Uh, what I found, no two saws are alike, so I had to make another one. Uh, I almost cut my cord the other day on a home repair project in Buena Vista. But there's my other panel. I've got it pretty well squared. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There's the corner that's got the squared mark on it. And a good trick to know is always when you square your panels, when you cut straight that way and that way, make that mark, that L-shaped mark in the corner there. And that tells you that that panel, that that's the square corner. So you don't try to reference, like a table saw, you wouldn't want to run it on that face, you would want to run it on this face and make a cross cut by running the, this face up against the fence and whatnot. But the chest is going to be 20 inches tall, top to bottom, 18 inches front to back, and 36 long. And so now we'll get started squaring this panel up uh, on two sides. Then we can run them through the table saw and get the final 20 by 18 panel. Then those over there will have to be squared up on two sides. The 20 inch riff I can do on the table saw, the 36 inch cut is going to have to be with the homemade jig here and the skill saw. So here we go. Piece 
four inches wide with the factory edge against the fence and screwed it on here and then used side of the saw foot to ride up against the fence so it will work like that. So when you want to make a cut all you have to do is line this up, this edge with your marks and that's where you, the blade this face of the blade will cut. And to make it where I can line it up in a square, I just squared up a piece of scrap material to this. Just screwed it on there and there. And squared it up to this edge. So when I take that piece and I lock it over, I know it's square. Is this uh, piece since we've already squared this edge, we'll just ride up and lock onto that. Then slide it over in the case of where you want your cut to be. And it'll cut it good for you. So if I wanted to cut that right there, I would just clamp it and cut. Go ahead and do that again because that didn't turn out the way I wanted. Getting activated with it. Not too far out of square though, so that's not bad. There she is. Now, like I said earlier, right take the pencil, and just make that mark. Shouldn't make it that big, but at least I can see it. These two are ready to be chopped up to final length. length and width. I'll go ahead and do the others off camera and come back. So everything is cut. These thick pan these wide panels are squared up on the edge and cut to length to 36 inch length. There's two of them. And these are just squared up on the uh, side of you know, they're just squared, they're not cut the length or anything. What I'm going to do now is put them on the table saw. I've got the fence set to 20 inches. And I'm going to do all my 20 inch cuts now. So that way I know that rip fence will always, it'll, it'll be the same. If I 
do these two and then change it and do that and then change it back and cut the others on that, there's a chance that it might not get back in the exact same spot. So that's why I'm going to do the all the rips now to get it down to 20 inches and then I'll change it to 18 and cut these to length for the side panels to give me my depth as soon as I find my earmuffs. All right, that's going to be all for today's vlog. Uh, got all those panels cut that I showed. I'm going to edit it. Tomorrow, I'll try to get some footage. We're going to Noonan, Georgia to pick up the trailer for the LT-15 uh, sawmill. So, then my sawmill will be portable. So... I appreciate everybody for watching. I'll be back on this again soon, and I'll try to get some more footage. Now we're ready to assemble it. And I may not show too much of the assembly because everybody knows how a box goes together. But I'm trying to adjust the selfie stick, and it's not working. So, but thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and tune in. I'll, like I said, I'll try to get some footage of going and getting that trailer uh, tomorrow from Noonan. And put that up for you, for your viewing entertainment. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.